Hi everybody, welcome to Zyber Organics channel. My name is Sunan Ney. I'm the brand owner and founder of Zyber Organics, where I sell cosmetics, candles, also teach you DIY cosmetics on this channel. Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to show you the SPF sunscreen that I've been mentioning since my last video. As you know, I was a pro twerk for like a 10 days holiday. Now that I'm back, I actually managed to test the sunscreen spray that I've been actually using it. This formula is actually contains just oil, so it doesn't contain any sort of water yet. I'm going to add some conditioning emulsifiers on it just because I find that when I was in the sea, in the water, I find my skin very, very conditioned. So it's really, really helpful to add some condition emulsifiers, even though you don't the need to add water in this formula. Another thing is, I'm not going to claim any SPF rating because I don't, I don't have the lab or in vivo testing available at my home. So I'm just going to go with whatever the um, ingredient suppliers equivalent of SPF rating. So this is SPF 30 and actually it's really, really well, I'm really impressed at how well it protects. I didn't get burned, I didn't have like get all red, but I actually managed to get a little bit of really good suntan with a and really nice bronzing effect without any sort of like pain, any sort of like uh, blemishes on my skin. Also because this formula contains some emulsifiers, my skin was when I was in the water was very, very conditioned. So I was really, really happy with that. So anyway, um, also just to give you a couple of updates. I know um, I'm trying to like keep up with the videos. My life is a little bit unstable at the moment just because like my I found that I've been made redundant from my my uh, current job so I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been given like around six months notice so it's gonna be till like December I'll be working but in the meantime I'm I don't know I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Um, I might give more focus on the YouTube, get me going and get my brand so it could be a chance for me to actually deep dive. Uh, it could be a big income shock for me, but I'll try my best. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll try to make it work. Um, another thing is I started a uh, advanced cosmetic science with Institute of Personal Care Science, so I'm really excited that I'm studying with them as well. And also another thing is um, I've been selected as a finalist for Provital Rising Star Challenge, which is a uh, global uh, formulation challenge by a supplier called Provital, which are their Spanish-based uh, suppliers. They're really, really good. They've got lots of uh, ingredients. So they run um, Rising Star Challenge, where you have to provide a theoretical formula. You can also make it. So I just got the email a couple of days ago saying that I've been selected as a finalist. They're going to announce it on LinkedIn very soon. So I'll post it on YouTube when they announce it as well. So I'm really, really happy. But yeah, so now I'll get a little bit turbulence going in my in my life. And today, actually, I also went to a what you call um, craft market. Is where I'm based. I'm based in Andover in the United Kingdom, and I went to the craft markets there. And um, there was a bit of interest. But today, this is my second time. First time I went there, it was a lot of interest. Today, because probably got Euro to 2024, the match England is on final, so there's not many people around. So probably everybody is on. Pops drinking, getting ready for the match. So there wasn't much interest. I still got some, you know. It was. It, I still got some money. I, there was some. Uh, there was a little bit of interest on my lip mask. So I might actually um, update my lip mask range a little bit, add more flavors. People, especially youngsters, um, young girls, were really, really interested with the lip mask. So um, that was really interesting to see. So. Yeah, lots of happening. I mean, I'm really trying to sort of like stay focused and um, maybe get more YouTube videos out there as well, just to keep you guys very ha happy. I have actually quite exciting uh, formulas ahead. I've been inspired by a couple of um, products I've seen, especially from a couple of brands, so I might replicate that. But I know you guys want a sunscreen gel, so um, I'm going to try to do that next on my next video. So, lots of ideas. Anyway, thanks for listening and without further ado, let's do this sunscreen spray. Okay, so as usual, you can find the formula on the screen. There are a couple of emulsifiers that you might have you seen it before. If you haven't seen them, well, don't worry, I'm not going to give you alternatives, but I'm going to explain why I use them. So, you might also look into it and also give you the suppliers where you can get them. So first we're going to start with Olivan 900. Olivan 900, the reason I'm using in this formula is actually 
um, is a waxy emulsifier, but it's a water to oil emulsifier, but it has a multiple functions. One of the reasons I chose this is because it has a water resistivity, so hence it is, you know, make the sunscreen water resistant. So that's why I'm adding this oil from 900. And also another good thing is it has a really good condition to skin and also is a little bit thickener. So um, it's a water to oil, but it thickens, it thickens the oil. So it's, you can use it in the anhydrous formulations. So we're going to start adding 2% oil from 900. If you don't have olive oil 900, you can use a beeswax because um, it kind of acts the same way of beeswax, but um, just make it one percent beeswax because you don't want to make the um, spray too thick. This is just um, this is it needs two percent because it has less thickening than beeswax. So at the two percent. So that's added. Next, I'm going to add some. Um, Jojoba oil. I'm adding 10 grams of jojoba oil. So I'm using a refined jojoba oil, that's why it's not golden color. Uh, um, you can use organic jojoba golden as well, it's fine. Um, I just don't have it at the moment. So I added 10 grams of jojoba oil, and the reason I add the jojoba oil is really good with the skin, uh, it has really good skin compatibility. Also helps with the sun protection as well. It has a little bit of sun protection, not much, but it just helps. Next, I'm adding uh, olive squalane. So squalane is really good, again, with the skin conditioning and also helps with the spread. And it really softens the skin as well. So I'm adding another 10 grams of squalane. Okay, so we added 20, another 10 grams, so it's now 20 grams of um, squalane and jojoba together. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of... Um, or conditioner or emulsifier called Olivem 2020. So Olivem 2020, sorry, Olivem 2090. So it's a little bit erased here, but Olivem 2090 is a water to oil emulsifier. So what it does, it has a couple of multiple uh, functions. First, it helps with the extra dispersion of the zinc that we're going to use, which you will see later on the uh, dispersed version of the zinc that I'm going to use. So it helps it, it's a really good stabilizer, so the zinc doesn't really sit at the bottom of the, um, the spray. So it helps really good dispersion. Another good thing is it emulsifies, so when you go to water, it conditions your skin, it has really good skin compatibility, and it's cold, pro cold processable as well, and it's quite liquid, so you don't have to actually heat this one. But because we added 11900, which is a waxy emulsifier, we're still gonna heat this formula anyway. But it just helps with the whole, you know, uh, the whole, you know, sunscreen. It helps with dispersing, helps with the skin conditioning, it helps with the spread, it conditions with the after the water. It also has a, a little bit of film forming, but the main film forming agent is Olivum 900. So that's why I like uh, using it. So I'm going to add not much, just around 3 grams of Olivum 2090. If you don't have this, don't worry, you can use another water to oil emulsifier. use polygyl cell free diosterate and um, you can use r lesser 19 and you can also use like uh, polysorbate 80 or 20 as well so i'm going to use some alternatives anyway i'm going to give a link give the links in the description so let's just add three grams of olive and 2019. last bit is i'm going to use um uh, MCT oil. So MCT oil is actually is a fractionated coconut oil. So it's just a little bit. This one's called caprylic caprylic triglyceride. So it's the same thing. You can use cup, uh, fractionated coconut oil if you don't have this. It just has a bit of light uh, texture. So we're gonna add 37 grams of this. Actually, before adding the next item, uh, but I'm just gonna show it here. We need to melt this. The reason why I need to melt this now is because we need to make sure Olive M900 is really well dispersed because the next item I'm going to add, we won't be able to see if it's melted properly or not. So, you know, the next item is the uh, dispersed zinc that I mentioned in my previous video. We're gonna add quite a lot of this to match the SPF 30 rating. I'm gonna add 30% of this dispersed zinc. But this is such a heavy white uh, ingredient, like a liquid ingredient, we won't be able to see what's happening here if I add this now. So we need to make sure first this 
whole thing is melted and everything is liquid then we can add this and then continue adding it also because i'm going to add it i can't add the heat sensitive ingredients right now so let me just melt this and i'll come back to you okay now it's completely melted i melted on the uh, pan so there's nothing left as you can see it's like water uh, everything is melted so what I'm going to do next, now that it melted, before it cools down and thickens, we're going to add the, as I mentioned, the uh, XP65 cocoa. So um, I don't know if you watched my previous video, but you can get all the details of, uh, of how good it is. So this, this is a zinc oxide dispersed, it's an organic and vegan and certified and grief safe zinc that is dispersed in cocoa caprolate, which is an emollient, it's a natural emollient. So I'm going to add 30% of this. And the reason it's 30% is to match the 30 SPF, which um, you can find all the equivalent SPF ratings in my previous video as well. So let's add uh, 30 grams of this material. So it's gonna become quite white. So um, that's why I, I did this procedure beforehand so that we can see everything what's happening. So let's add this. As you can see, it's quite thick and white material. Okay, 30 gram added, so let's mix this now to make it really going to be, become quite milky. First to make sure everything is melted, as you can see it's, it's like a big milk, milky substance. So this is going to thicken up obviously a little bit because Oliver 900 has the uh, thickening up uh, function as well. So we don't need to add anything more. I just, I added it is just because, you know, just all the, everything is just in one emulsifier. Thickener, water resistant, skin conditioning, everything is in one place. So we have all this done. We're just gonna cool it a little bit. And then once it's a little bit cooled, that we're gonna add the heat sensitive ingredients such as the seaweed, vitamin C and vitamin E, and that will wrap, wrap up the formula. So I'll come back to once it's a bit cooled and then we can continue. Okay, now this is cooled, it's around, let's have a check, uh, 30 degrees, which is perfect. So this is under 40 degrees, so it's good. So let's just do, as you can see, it's thickened up already. It's not that, it's still liquid, but it's not, I can, I mean, as I texture, as I mix it, I can feel the little bit resistance. So it's thickened up a little bit. So that's quite nice because, you know, I didn't want to make it too runny and I think the Oliver 900 makes it a little bit thicker, so that's fine. Let's move the heat sensitive ingredients. I'm adding first a seaweed extract. Really good uh, extract to add, seaweed extract. So I'm gonna add three grams of seaweed extract. I'm adding two grams of vitamin E. Normally you put one, but again, vitamin E protects against sun damage. So that's why I'm adding, you know, extra antioxidants to protect uh, sun, sun damage. So I'm adding two grams of sun, vitamin E. Let's just mix this as well. And finally, I'm adding, um, this is vitamin C, but it's called ascorbic tetraisopalmitate. So What's really good about this, obviously vitamin C is really good for the skin, but this is an oil soluble, oil drive vitamin C, and it actually protects UV damage. So that's why I'm adding, um, it has brightening effect as well. It has a lot of benefits. Uh, I just put it on the skin, so on the screen you can see them. But the main reason I'm adding this vitamin C is the UV damage. So that's why I'm adding around three grams of this. You can add up to 10 grams of this and it's oil co-soluble. So, uh, so it goes with this formula. Okay, that's all right. Let's mix it. So let me just fill this now to a spray bottle and let's do a demonstration after that.
Okay, so I filled it up to this nice little spray bottle. If you're curious where I got this, I'll put a link for it. I got it from AliExpress. Uh, it's actually a hand sanitizer spray. I just like the shape. But anyway, let's try and see. So it's a very, um, as you can see, it's a, it hasn't fully thickened up yet, but it doesn't run away that much. So it's really good. And it's, gone as well so really because it's already dispersed you know it doesn't have that much of a white cast at all so as you can see and it's a very nice texture as well so let me try to put it in my hand again so they can see it and it's gone so the goodness about this, as I mentioned, of this, especially this uh, XP65 Coco, it's really, really good. It doesn't actually has that, that, you know, has a really good screen protection. I noticed it when I was away in the holiday because it was really hot, it was 38, 39, even almost 40 degrees some days. And it just didn't have that red screen burn that you get it. And <laughs> honestly, I bought some generic sunscreen because I ran out of it. And you won't believe what happened. I used some certain brand um, lotion, sort of a um, sun sun lotion, and I get all these uh, white bumps. Not white bumps, but they're called breakouts. <laughs> so even my partner noticed it. That is like your mind was much better. So anyway, this is a sprayable milk oil formula. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, leave me in the comment section. Um, it's a very nice formula. If you have struggle of getting these um, ingredients such as Oleo 900 or Oleo 2090 or the vitamin C, let me know in the comments. I'll try to guide you from the suppliers and you can get them. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments. I hope to uh, make a few more videos. I'm trying to, I will try to make the sun gel. Um, I know some of you really desperate, really want to see the sun gels. <laughs> Uh, so I'll try to do that. I have uh, some ingredients to actually mix oil, oil based sun gels um, and because I'm going to use this formula, normally sunscreens are actually, especially higher SPF sunscreens need water to oil emulsion but I'm going to make a gel uh, using an oil based formula as well so I have a really nice ingredient for that. So I'll experiment this week and hopefully I'll post more next week and until then see you, thank you, bye!